Welcome to Excape for Teachers, I'm Jeff Phillips and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to curve a label on a cylinder for example in drawing a, a can of soup or whatever the case may be. So I'll just scroll across and we'll start from scratch. First I'll draw an ellipse with the ellipse tool or E and select tool and control D to duplicate and control drag to drag that down. Click off. Now I might break this cylinder in half but first I'll convert it to a path to do that. Path, straight um, object to path then N for the node tool and I'll select these two nodes and break the ellipse at those two points and just to make sure I'll go path, break apart. Select tool and I'll delete the back section and with the Bezier pen tool I'm sure my snapping tools are turned on up here, you can match yours to these ones. Click, control, drag, and I want to snap to the, yep, someone's letting go of control helps, and click on the corner of the ellipse, or edge of the ellipse, and press enter. Select tool, I'll control D to duplicate that side, and drag it across into position. Now I can join those lines, but that uh, visually looks uh, pretty good at the moment. I might select all of that and increase the stroke width to 0.6 say. So there's my cylinder. Now there are two methods I'll just drag across. One, I'm just going to do a copy of this ellipse, control D and drag it across. And one method, excuse me, one method uh, involves breaking a part of this ellipse to place some text on just that part of the path. I try to place text on the bottom of the ellipse, it will start over at the edge here and I don't want it there, I just want it in this section in the middle. So I'll just draw a rectangle, say if that's about the size of the text or at least the width that I want. And I'll centre that up, Control os shift click to select both objects. And, <coughs> excuse me, under the align menu, make sure last selected is there and centre it up. Now I'm just going to drag that one up. Shift click to select both objects and path, cut path and now just drag this part, that's the bit that I want my text on. Now I need to create my text so with the text tool or T I'll click and I'll type can of whatever I might make that uh, bold, you can get chunkier fonts but I'll just uh, go with the default here make that bold and perhaps increase it. Now the idea is that I want the text the same width as this path because I don't want it just starting up here and not being centered. So what you can do is you can click on the little path there, control C, then click on the text, go up to edit, paste size, paste width. Now they're exactly the same width you can see. And while the text is selected, I'm going to go up to the path and convert uh, object to path. Now if I press the node tool in, you can see that there are a whole lot of nodes. It's no longer editable text. But I'll have to do this for, to make the next step work. So I'll select all of that. I think I can just click on one of it. Yeah, it's already grouped. Click on that, shift click on the path, and go up to extensions, generate from path and pattern along path. Yeah, you can uh, set up a preview if you wish. You can see that looks back to front but don't worry just apply and close and click on the text and reflect it. Why we have to do this I don't know but anyway. And there we have the text that looks like it's about the right curvature for that can. What I can do of course is group the uh, elements to make up the cylinder, control G and then shift click the can of worms and centre them up. Drag them across actually in the way. Maybe drag that up a bit but you get the idea. I won't do the gradient fill that uh, I had over here. The main idea of this video is just to show you how to curve the text. Another way of doing that, 
Just let me copy the cylinder only, Control D to duplicate, drag that down. Is It's a little bit uh, imprecise, but if you zoomed in enough, it, I think it's still okay. We need uh, some more of that text. I'll have to type it again, so I should have copied it before I manipulated it before. Can of works, can of worms. Again, make it bold and I think it's about the same size, something like that. Now, I'm going to do the same as I did before, path, object to path, but now, under the path menu, if I go to path, path effects, and add a path effect by clicking the plus here in the path effects dialog, choose envelope distortion, go add, this is quite fiddly, but uh, you'll get the hang of it, I think. Now, I only need to manipulate the top and bottom of this to curve it, not the sides. So I'll remove the edit uh, left and right paths and just leave the top and bottom. Now you have to click on the uh, top bend path and bottom or bottom bend path. I might do the bottom first. Click that one and just drag it down to what you think is the right curvature. So I'll control Z and drag that. Um, text you know, over here and now I'll go again bottom path, I think still selected in it, no it's not, select that and drag it down to, now if the snapping's annoying you turn that off and just bend the curvature, what you think, this is where it's a bit imprecise but still then select the top bend path and something like that Back to the select tool and, and drag it around. I'll just um, group all of that, control G, and move it up next to the other one so we can compare uh, which one was, oops, slowing down a bit. Sometimes the, re the video recording can cause the computer to go slowly. I'll just get rid of these bits and pieces. That's what I broke out, out before to draw a path on when I was practicing. And you can see that they look, they're both pretty good. So they're, they're two good uh, ways of curving text to make a realistic picture of a can label or a cylinder or a can of soup or something. Hope that uh, that's of some use to you, and as always, thanks for watching.